Hi everybody, Holly Clear, the Social Media Advisor. Today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about networking, where I network, and the reason why I chose those places. So first and foremost, as a small business owner, networking is a crucial component in referral marketing. Reason number one, how else are you going to get your visibility out there? Reason number two, you've got solid relationships that you can build instantly by getting to know somebody that like, know, and trust by seeing them in person, looking at how they communicate, and finding mutual interests. Networking for me is not about closing business at a networking meeting. It's about building relationships. And I found three things that I find very valuable in all of the different relationships that I've chosen to build as far as networking goes. So, number one, looking at a networking group, I need support, accountability, and education. Relationships are an awesome add to that, but friendships aren't necessarily necessary. But if power partners are there, that's awesome. So the networks that I've chosen to network with this year, after six months of searching for different opportunities to, to join, if you will, I'm deeply connected with BNI, Business Networking International. The reason why I've selected BNI is because it provides accountability, education, that power partner opportunity for those successful relationships. And it focuses on like, know, and trust with solid referrals. So that's a great network to, to be a part of. Meeting every week can be challenging, but it's a commitment that I'm willing to do. The next group of networks that I've selected is Polkadot. I really like the opportunity to network with just women, focusing on relationship and encouragement. And there's an accountability piece with that as well. So that's what the Polkadot Network offers, and I just love that I'm, I had the opportunity to be there. I'm also a part of a mastermind, which is industry-focused. And that's valuable to me because of the fact that other ladies who do what I do may, may have different specialties, but we all get the opportunity to work together, network, talk about things and challenges going on in the industry, or about what it's like to be a social media manager in, in our business and, and challenges that we just have with that. There's accountability, there's education, and there's support there. The last network that I'm a part of is Experience Pros, which I recently joined as well. What I love about Experience Pros is the visibility and support in marketing. Every single event I've ever been to, there's not been a time where I've not been introduced to at least five new people that might be good power partners for me. Every person who's a member there has been welcoming with open arms. The radio show aspect is fabulous. And you know what? It's kind of cool to be able to network and build relationships and also have a dance party afterwards. So keep that in mind. I know that sounds like a lot, but guys, listen, if you're not a part of an accountability group in a variety of shapes and forms, mastermind is key. Industry specific networking is number one important. Number two, build relationships with, with groups of people that have consistency. If you're not showing up, you're out of sight, out of mind and it's very difficult to refer someone or have the opportunity to get to know them if they're not present. Find the networks that work for you. Join and commit. And guys, I can promise you one thing. If there's not a fee to join, chances are you're going to get as much in as you put in as you put in from your investment. So, budget accordingly. Join the right groups that fit your personality and have a blast. To your success, be awesome.